In this video, we will show you how to run the Wisos Bolt extension. After installing the extension, choose the project that you'd like to be scanned. Please click the section called Pipelines and select Wisos Bolt. Insert your work email and company name to activate your account. Now your Wisos Bolt account is activated, but we see that there's no data to show because we haven't fully configured the extension yet. In order to start running your build, we will need to configure Wisos Bolt. Under Pipelines, click Build. Before you choose the repositories to be scanned, make sure in the Preview Feature section that the new YAML Pipeline Creation Experience is turned off. Now click on the New Pipeline button and choose which repositories you would like to be scanned by Wisos Bolt. Scroll down and click the Continue button. In the Choose Your Template page, go to the search box and click on the Empty Job option which is under the Selected Template tab. Click Get Sources to choose which agent you would like to use. Under Agent Selection, click on Agent Pool and choose which host you'll be using. To run Wisos Bolt, you'll need to add a task to the agent. Click the plus symbol next to the chosen agent and search for Wisos Bolt. Now click the Add button. You'll see that the Wisos Bolt task has now been added to the agent. Make sure that you've added the pre-step for the relevant programming language and that it's queued before Wisos Bolt. Here we are using NPM. Now click the Save and Queue button. To start the scanning of your project, you can either click the Wisos Bolt option under Pipelines or the name of the project at the top of your screen. After the run is complete, please click on Wisos Bolt under Pipelines to see the results. Now you'll be able to see an aggregated report including all open source vulnerabilities, severity level, and outdated libraries. Thanks for watching.